Hey, good morning. It's Tuba Billy. Another chilly morning. It's about 50 degrees, uh, overcast. So, I thought it'd be a good time to talk about the state of humanity. Um, so, my wife and I had a conversation just about how you know we feel like the the compassion and the caring for people is just just gone largely not not from everybody but uh, people seem more and more concerned with themselves you know they're all, they got it out for number one which you know is is fine you do have to look out for your own needs <clears throat> but then at the same time you also need to you know, reach out and, and help others. Oh, you're going slow. I should have gone. Um, you know, you help others as you can. <clears throat> you know, that's one of those things that, you know, we're, we're, we're told and we're taught to, to help others. But if you're in a situation where you can't, then, then don't. If helping someone else would put you um, at, at a bigger, you know, financial burden or put an undue burden on you, then then that is fine. Because as long as your attitude is, I would give if I could, then that is justified. That is that is fine. But if you're saying, oh, you know, this person brought it on themselves, they deserve whatever is coming to them, then yeah, that's, that's not that's not nice. But aside from that, just general caring for others seems to be lacking. I know in my field of work, uh, it's harder to get volunteers now. People who just want to give of their time on behalf of someone else, youth in particular, to teach them things. Um, it, it's harder to find volunteers who want to do that. Um, also, my wife was uh, or is a realtor. Uh, this is kind of a newer venture. She's she's probably getting out of it because, uh, well, one, we're homeschooling, so that homeschooling is really a full-time job. Being a mom is a full-time job job one of the most thankless jobs and underpaid jobs because they don't get paid but anyway it's one of the most important jobs in the world too but her time as a realtor like she would reach out and she would you know genuinely care that's a lot of firewood sorry squirrel um they would, she, she would genuinely care for her co-workers for for clients and learn quickly that that caring is not reciprocated. And now that she's talking about putting her license on hold while you know she focuses on her kids, um, you know she's reached out to several of the other realtors that she thought were friends, and to tell them, and they don't respond. And so I told her, I was like, well, it means. It means you're dead to them. They don't care. You know, we kind of felt that with, um, you know, when, when we used an agent to buy our house. Ah. Ah. Never going to get out of here. We felt that um, the agent said all the right things with us. And then after, you know, wanted to, you know, said, oh, I consider you friends. Let's do play dates with our kids. Let's do this. Let's do that. As soon as the contract was over, nothing. Crickets. So I was like, oh, okay. Did, did you care? No. And I really think that's, you know, do partially part by COVID, you know, locking us down for <clears throat> two weeks, which turned into two years, um, which in some cases is still going on. Um, 
that really turned people carrying off because they focused on themselves, right? Um, another thing has to do probably with um, who's, who's going? All right, I'll go. You were there first. You were both there first, but anyway. Uh, it's a far away stop. If you're there first, go. Anyway, I think it also has to do with you know the, the current world. There's so much division, so much hatred that people just don't want to put themselves out there. They don't want to, you know, open themselves up to potentially hatred, to potential, you know, cancellation, because it's just such a horrible dog-eat-dog -dog world out there. If you say the wrong thing, if you look at someone the wrong way if you oh by heaven my no don't do this don't misgender someone then you are label all of these horrible things which all these horrible titles don't carry any weight anymore because they're overused several years ago if you call me a bigot and a racist oh my gosh what have i done to you i Please let me fix this. I I never meant to hurt you. Now if you call me a bigot and a racist, I was like, shut up. It's it's lost the impact for for me and, and probably for several people. Because it's so overused. They use those words for everything. You're a white supremacist. You're a bigot, you're a cis homophobic, whatever, all these other things that they've, they, they've made up terms for all this stuff. When really, really, you look at who's the bigoted ones, they, um, you say, hey, you know, I'm, I'm a Christian. I'm a conservative. Oh, you're a hater. You're da, da, da. like, no, I'm not. You don't know me. You're projecting all of these self-absorbed stereotypes onto me. And you are being very hateful towards me. Oh, it's starting to sprinkle. So, yeah. The side that decries that they are victims of bigotry and hatred and all this other stuff are really the ones that are spouting all of the bigotry and hatred. Sad world we live in. But that is part of the signs of the times. The love of man will wax cold, right? They won't care for one another. They'll be given into diverse lusts. They just... They'll just be today. If you look at it, I mean, gosh, this is... This is like prophecy in fulfillment every single day. It is terrible. It is terrifying. But that is what is coming before the great and dreadful day of the Lord. Don't mean to get all preachy on you, but anyway, just please, as always, be excellent to each other. Tupabili signing out. God be with you till we meet again.